Hi, I'm Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today we're making calabacitas. Now, calabacitas is a zucchini dish and it has a lot of wonderful ingredients in it. It's got some, uh, some onion and I've got some zucchini and corn. We use some fresh corn. We're gonna saute all this together and add some green chilies and we're gonna top it off with some cheese and some cilantro. Okay, so let's go over our ingredients. First off, we're gonna need about a pound and a half to two pounds of zucchini squash, any variety that you want. You can see here I've got a mixture of things going on. We're gonna need two ears of fresh corn, and I've already shucked and, and removed all the silks from that. We're gonna need some olive oil. Here I've got one whole um, yellow onion, two to three cloves of minced garlic, I've got one can of green chili. This one is whole, so I'm gonna chop that up. I have a half a teaspoon of ground or oregano leaves. I'm gonna use just a little bit of lemon, just a little squeeze, and of course we need some salt. We're gonna to top it off with our cotilla cheese. Here it comes in a package like this, and what you do is you just break it up with your hands, and that's what I have here. And then we'll finish it off with some chopped cilantro. Okay, so let's start off with cutting up our zucchini squash. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna slice off the ends. And, and really you can chop this up any way you want. We just wanna get it into nice small pieces, say about an inch, half an inch um, in, you know, thick. So I'm just gonna cut that in half like that and then just make some slices. So something like this, this is perfect. And we'll just cut all of our zucchini in that fashion. All right, so now we're ready to do our corn. I wanna just show you how I cut off the kernels from the corn cob, make sure the bottom is flat so it's a little bit you know, easier to stabilize it. And then we're just gonna cut down. This hasn't been cooked yet. And the corn kernels tend to go flying everywhere. <laughs> the last thing we need to chop up are our green chilies. So since I didn't have any that were already uh, minced, we'll chop our own. And this container of four ounces has three chilies. And we'll just, it's real easy, just get a little chop in one direction and cut it up in the other. And that's about all we need to do. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna start off our cooking. I'm gonna put the flame on medium high and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan, about, maybe a little extra. And I'm gonna add the onions. And we're gonna saute these for, you know, just several minutes before we add our garlic. Okay, so I've been sauteing my onions now for 10 minutes. Now, I like to cook these longer than, say, a lot of people like to because I like to caramelize the onions and really bring out that sweet little flavor that you get. Now, you can see how much these have cooked down already. And I'm gonna continue doing this for about five more minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic and just saute that for maybe just a minute longer after that, and then we'll add more of our ingredients. So we'll be right back. So our onions have been sauteing nicely now for a good 15 minutes. They've, they're starting to caramelize and cook down, and now I'm gonna add the garlic. So I'll put that in, and I'm gonna cook the garlic in for just, you know, like a minute or so. You can, when you start to smell, the aroma comes up from the garlic. I'm gonna add the corn. Let's pour that in. And the green chilies. Sprinkle in the oregano. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to saute this. I've got the, the heat is on medium low at this point. Soften up the corn. And then we're going to add our zucchini. Okay, so our mixture has been cooking now for just two, just a couple minutes. And now I'm going to add the zucchini and we want to cook the zucchini just until it's done. We don't want it to get too soft. So we're just gonna saute this for just maybe eight or nine minutes. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt, a little sprinkle, add a little pepper, and we'll let that cook. And I'll just keep stirring it. 
until the zucchini gets a little soft. Okay, so we've been cooking our calabacitas here for about eight minutes or so. Now remember, we don't want to get our zucchini to be real soggy, so we want to keep it firm. At this point, I want to add just a little bit of lemon juice, nothing too major, just a few little drops all the way around. It just brightens up the flavor. We'll work that in. And then what we want to do is taste it, right? Because we want to make sure we have enough salt. And this would be the perfect time to add it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little taste and see where we're at. Pretty close. I think it needs just a little bit more salt. So I'm going to sprinkle that around. And I'm going to let this cook maybe two more minutes. That's all it's going to need. It tastes great. And it smells incredibly good. All right, I just took the dish off the stove, and you can see it's nice and hot. Now, to really make this dish extra special, take the time to cook those onions. That will really take it to the next level. Cook those onions for 20 minutes, caramelize them. That's what really brings the flavor to this dish. Now I'm gonna add the cheese on top, and I'll just stir it up a little bit, mix that in. Boy, it smells incredible. And I've already had a taste, so I know it's really, really good. Okay, so we'll serve it up. And then I'm going to top it with just a little bit of cilantro. Just like that. That is incredible. It smells wonderful, and it does taste beautiful. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I'm going to take a little taste, because I know this is really, really good. You guys are going to love the flavor in this. Excellent. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and um, leave me a comment if you have any questions or you have a video you want me to make. Just leave it below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And remember, it's got to be hot to be good.